last week and I'm gonna follow the flight. You step foot in this yard. Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm gonna call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior? Your mama would turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gang banker? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass. Shut sister. the fuck up! Yeah, shut the fuck up! Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> this, this is seven dollars. I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here. All right. You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? You're talking about the little stretch thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come Who on, is man. this fool, man? What is this nigga? Man, just come on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you in stress concern. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust, Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. Homie live up here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. Throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me, give me the, give me the back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key 
or a fucking ounce. Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. You can't fucking hustle a hustler. We gotta get off Wall Street. Fuck, they got the man. He on foot now. Go! 
trying to kill us? I mean another time. They got sea shark races all over the city. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. And look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged. Not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP, you know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. 
And the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, <laughs> for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your question. Townley's taking oh scores God. again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation, and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me. Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, hey, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. Do you remember after the oh. hey. Do you remember after the bust? I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. This is bullshit. This place? Davy. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. How many vaults do you think they got running through these things? Not that! No, come on, please! No, no, no! Don't zap me! Don't do it! You can't! Not the clips! Whoa, whoa! Please! Turn him off! 
No, no, no! Don't zap me! You're running? Yeah, he went and pissed himself! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as, Stop! as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it would be a team job, no casualty. There are more eyes on that town than they need. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters. <laughs> thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him know. up. No, please. Apply some pressure. Come on. Be gentle. No, no. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 please, no, 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 please, no, 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 he's got beer. Oh, he's got beer. He's got bushy beer. Uh huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. We're back in. Give me some eyes. Use the zoom. There's no room for mistakes. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until no. you give us some intel on our target. He's a... he's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Chim maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No. Please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he, he smokes. That's all I know. If my mama had waterboarded me more often, I wouldn't be the gun-toting psychopath you see before you now. Not the waterboard! Don't do it! Please don't! Oh! 
It shouldn't be legal. Don't do it. It's... Alone. Alone. Don't Always by the book. That's my vibe. Look at me. I am a genuine government man. Let's get him upright. I can't breathe. <laughs> Today's lesson is about government regulation. There is no lesson. <laughs> Mr. K. Uh, I, I, I Mr. Don't K. Know anything. Please. Uh, okay. He, he chain smokes. He, he's left handed. What's that? He, he chain smokes and he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says it smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes! Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've... got him. It's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. <coughs> you thinking to? Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Come on. Oh, just torture me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on. Up the fucking stairs. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the air. I need to get to the hospital. Nah, you're fine. I can assure you I am not. No one likes a crybaby. You look great. Let me see the mirror. I think I need a hospital. You're not going to a hospital. You need to leave. Who are you? Uh, why are you helping me? I told you. I don't like being told what to do. Then why are you working with FIB? I'm a double agent. Yeah? Then who you work for? IAA? The IAA want you dead as well, don't you remember? The Democracy? Global Poo Who? Global Poo? Did you say Global Poo? I work for the forces of sanity. Sanity? And we need you to tell the world what happened to you from the safety of a foreign country, preferably a dictatorship. What do you mean? You've got a message. You are a message, yeah? Okay, look, look, look. I love torture. Torture for the sake of torture, that's my bag. But there are people in our government. There are people in our government, in the media, who think that torture is a means to an end. They think it'll get them somewhere. We gotta call bullshit on that. Torture is not going to make you normal friends or get you information. I am slipping out of consciousness. Am I dying? Ah, oh, you're not dying. Being a bit of a wuss. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Me.
Run. You're free. What? My family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. 